Hey friends, what's up? Red Naked here. Welcome to Pure Farming 2018. So this game, at the time you're seeing this, is out already. At the time of recording, this is a uh, preview build from Techland. So huge shout out to them for sending me this game and uh, allowing me to get this uh, first look video out for you guys. Obviously, I already did a stream last night of this game and it's fantastic. And yes, there is a little badge up there in the top hand, top right hand or left hand corner. Um, that's just showing you that I do actually have the proof that it, they did send it to me and I will go ahead and actually remo remove that now. But Pure Farming 2018 offers several uh, different, um, what's it called? Several different environments to farm. And if we go to here, we'll just browse through them real quick. Uh, let's uh, let's just start this real quick. We have Montana, which is obviously America. We have Italy, we have Colombia, and we have Japan. So while we're here, this is the free farming mode, which basically means you can uh, start start off how you want to. You you choose your map between Montana, Japan, Colombia, Italy, and you know all that stuff. And in Montana, I believe. The big thing is potatoes. Italy, you have olives and grapes. Colombia, you have coffee. And Japan, I think you have some sort of tree that you can uh, uh, farm. And they are all custom to the map, which is, which is really awesome. I do not know if you can plant them on other maps. I haven't played that much with it yet. And uh, in free mode, or free farming mode, you can set how much money you want to start with. You can go as low as 25,000 or as high as 200,000. You can also start your, uh, you have your starting uh, weather and your starting time. Morning or night or evening or noon. A lot more features than I thought there were going to be. So that's the free farming. You have some farming challenges where you can go through and just do challenges. So obviously you have a lotus attack. So these are on the trees I was actually just talking about. Looks like at least. Yeah, Charker's Life. You got Milky Way. You got a whole bunch of stuff. The, the potato campaign, obviously that's going to be in the Montana. And it's all really cool. Yeah, so basically what they are is you have one task and you got to do it in, for example, 26 hours. And it's really awesome. And you have your requirements right here. It's all very in depth, and you have your first farm, obviously. And uh, let's 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 jump into this and see how it looks. My grandpa was a hardworking man. He loved his farm. It was his whole life. When I spent my holidays with him, he would let me help with all the work in the fields. At that time, I didn't realize that he was slowly inspiring me with his passion. The years passed, and I saw my grandpa less and less. I wanted to get away and go to the countryside as often as I could. Unfortunately, my dad was opposed to it. He thought that agriculture had no future, and that I'd only waste my time. And so my grandpa died before a decent successor stepped in. He left an open will and a debt-ridden farm. It seems that nobody wants to leave their urban comforts behind. I'm the only person who wants to save my family heritage. I'm not quite sure how to explain it, but in my heart, I'm sure I can do it. I have no doubt I'll be getting my hands dirty at the beginning. There's no time to waste. Let's get to work. So a very awesome backstory really kind of puts you in the mood and get puts you kind of in the mindset of what you're doing in this kind of career mode, I guess you could say. And I think that's really awesome. I think that's something that I've always, that is definitely something I've always done with Farming Simulator. I've always thought of this scenario in my head for every season that I played in Farming Simulator. Um, for, for instance, um, like in the, uh, well, any series, I always had a kind of a storyline that went along with that series, that season. So... That's something really cool I love about this game is that there's that storyline, that start off storyline to 
really put you in a mindset of what you're doing in this game and what you're trying to accomplish. You're trying to accomplish getting this farm out of debt and up and running again back to its former glory. And it's all very awesome. I love that. So we have some emails. So let's go to our tablet by pressing V. And we have emails. So bank loan. Oh, this is pretty cool. That's really cool, actually. Uh, your grandfather's debt, which you you took over long with legacy, has formally assigned to your bank account, and amounts to two hundred seventy-five thousand dollars in debt. Or is that how much? That's debt. Okay. Uh, movement. That's just shows out to you. That's pretty cool. Awesome. So let's step out here. Actually, let's walk around the farmhouse real quick because this this is another thing I really love love about this game is the actual interior of the house. It's very beautiful, very detailed. I mean, they may have been in debt, but at least they were living, you know, in comfort. So walking out to the farm, we gained 50 experience, and we see we have a metal tech trailer over there. That's not metal tech. What is it? But we also have a Rostle Marsh uh, Combine and Header, as well as a Zetor Tractor. Is it Metal Mush? Or Metal Mesh? Yeah. Oh, Metal Tech. So that's pretty cool. Go to the indication location. Okay. You received a new email. So let's check that. Map. The goal is near a potato storehouse one. Well, I guess we should uh, read this. Great, you're here. An up-to-date version of the map has been up uploaded and installed to your tablet. You now have access to the map for the whole region. Let's see how you use it. Your goal is near potato house. After, after turning the tablet off, go to the map by pressing M. Now you will see the function of or see a function for finding object objects. In order to press it, in order to use it, press N in the map window. Okay. Next, find and select storehouse. One. Okay. Finally, press E. This way, you can set your first waypoint. Awesome. So that's something I was kind of confused about in the uh, in the live stream last night is setting waypoints. I wasn't sure how to do that. So let's go ahead and hop into it. So we it says press M. And then press N, and we want Potato Warehouse 1 or something like that, right? Today Storage, Potato st Storage 1, and then E. Awesome. So, our objective is over there. Do we start off with a truck? Because I know I had a truck in the live stream. We do start off with this truck. It's a Mitsubishi. Very nice. So let's go to our waypoint. Alright, so here we are. Now we got another email. Oops, press V. Emails. You're here. You see, you managed to find place. Congratulations. You are now familiar with movement and navigation system. It's high time. Then that we checked at the equipment. All right. So let's go back to the farmhouse and check that out. It's actually already marked for us. All right, so pulling up to the shed, oh, so we have our combine. Let's check our email real quick. Probably just says the equipment. Or not. Let's get out on foot. Maybe we have to be on foot to activate it. Yep. Alright, so we got another email. Wear and tear of vehicles. So I actually discovered this in the live stream that the uh, vehicles actually have wear and tear on them. Kind of like how Farm Sim you pay that maintenance fee at the end of every day. Well, this goes even deeper into that, and I love it so much. So let's go ahead and take a tractor into the workshop. We'll just take the Zetor. And that's actually the one they want us to take anyway, so good. So to go to the workshop, we just drive right into here. 
This is a, even a little outline. Right there. Then we go over here. Press F. And you can see the diagnostics, which is really awesome. So obviously it's kind of in the state of of needing maintenance. It needs some drive tank, drive tra drive system uh, maintenance, some wheel maintenance. You know, just basic wear and tear stuff. Uh, repair lift or, or rear lift. I don't know why I sell repair, but uh, that's pretty cool. And you can repair it all from here. So it's pretty cool, and I, I really like that. We're not going to do that quite yet, cause. And maybe we should, because I don't know if it gets, if it if it's like a really high cost once it actually breaks down. So we'll go ahead and do it, at least for the sake of the video. Okay. Oh wow, we got a lot of um, experience for that. So I'm going back. Oops, I hit the planks. So going back over here, as us getting into the combine, we're probably going to be harvesting the wheat. Go ahead and hop in the combat now. Probably gonna have to get the header, yep. Let's go see. The interiors are very nice, and you always have that tablet there, which is really awesome. It's always a really nice detail. Or it is a very nice detail. So we press G. And you actually have to be in the right position to hook that up, which is really cool. Now it probably has this going to the wheat field. Yep. And we'll get lined up here. So we want to press F mode and then R. And I think we're good to go. So we press Z or X. It's X on this one. And we can go. Now I believe we can press J. Oh, it's not going to let us hire a worker. So there are workers in the game. Let's actually check our emails, see if it says something about it in there. Oops. Emails. Using a combine harvester. Yep, all the basics. Oh! Each code. I did not know this. Each one has cruise control. So left shift. Oh, that's cool. Just left shift. There we go. That's really awesome. It does slow down a lot on the turns. We did miss quite a bit there. So as you can see, it's actually a really well detailed uh, combine too. You actually have the particles in the dust even. I think it's a very cool detail. Now you gotta also remember this game is also on consoles, so that may be why some things are a certain way to, you know, work better on consoles. Bin's full. Was, <coughs> wasn't paying attention. Alright, so let's get go back up a little bit here. So we press Z. And we press Z. Oh, we hold Z. And we can move our pipe with a uh, mouse button. It's really awesome. So let's get the Zator tractor hooked up to the uh, Metal Tech trailer. There we are, all hooked up. And something that you may notice, I'll keep the camera kind of low here so you can maybe notice a little more, is the suspension of everything. It's very nice. It's 
a very nice flowing kind of suspension. It's really nice. You can see the front of the trailer kind of bouncing up and down. Really, really, really nice. I can't say that enough. Let's go ahead and drive under here. I believe we have to be in the combine for this to actually unload. Hop in here. Yep. There we are. Very nice. Alright, so that's done. Let's make it just walk over here real quick and show you guys another feature of the game. Actually, oh, it's not here. So there are drones in this game. I'm guessing you have to uh, unlock them in a certain way. Oh, you can actually skip the night. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. So there is kind of like a sleeping part of the game. That's really awesome. So now it's going to have us take the uh, crops to a granary. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Or is it just a silo? Yeah, it's a silo. But it's calling it the granary, so, okay. And we can actually upgrade this in the future for 25,000. We press H, and it'll drop. Awesome. Very nice animation with the unloading as well. So next it will have us put it into the silo. Awesome. Let's go ahead and just check our emails real quick. See if we're missing missing anything important. Crops have been out of silo. You can take them back out and return them to the trailer to transfer crops to the granary. Just park. Okay. Is that what it's wanting us to do? I think that's what it's wanting us to do. Oh yeah, it says uh, trans transfer them from silo. Okay, you can do that. Misread that completely wrong. We can actually upgrade this too when, once we're ready. So we don't quite have enough in here for what it wants us to do, but we'll go ahead and do it just for this kind of first look video. So if you go back to the live stream, you will actually see us take a tour of the town in here, and it's a beautiful town. I might just uh, end up driving around the town in in this video as well because it's such a beautiful town. I really want to show you guys it. Also, let's go ahead and press our left shift. Hands for driving. Actually, I should probably put my hands back on the keyboard to steer it. <laughs> so we got some. I just dropped my phone. So we got some trees here, so I'm not sure what they are, but maybe you can grow some fruits here. Like I said, I'm not entirely sure if all the crops in the game can be grown on every single map. I don't know if there are like certain maps that you have to grow them on. And this isn't where we want. We want over there. Beautiful logs here. I really love the entrance ways in this uh, game. They they do fantastic, and they. Oh, they just look good, especially those log ones. Is there a train going by? Oh, did we just miss the train? Oh, I really wanted to see the train. I never saw it in the game. Dang it. I don't even see it now. Oh, that's a fence. Did you just honk at me? Now you're going to pin me here. Great. Thanks. Thanks Thanks a lot. You're an awesome dude. Asshole. So this is a greenhouse. Wheat, rye, and barley is what they buy. Let's go ahead and sell. Very nice. So it actually tells you how much you just made. We sold wheat and gained one thousand six hundred and ninety-two dollars. So that symbol is still going to be there because we haven't sold the amount they wanted. They wanted us to sell thirteen thousand pounds, and we only sold about seven thousand. All right. So let's check out this kind of sleeping kind of thing. Let's 
hop out of this. It is 1700. It's actually 1800 now, so we should be able to do this. Uh, accept. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. I love this about this game. Very nice. So let's go ahead and hop in our truck. Since we did the basic stuff like harvest and transport the grain, we will go ahead and take a little bit of a tour around the farmyard because I do know a little bit a little bit about the farmyard just from the streams. So over here we have the rabbit cages where you can raise your rabbits. Over here you have your chicken coops where you can obviously raise your chickens. This is where your dairy barn is. You have an egg warehouse right there. These pipes over here, you can actually build a milk silo. And right here, I believe this is some sort of seed. Oh no, it's a pig pig sty, so you can actually uh, raise pigs. All right, so we're making our way into the town. You can see that was the creamery right there. I believe this is the mayonnaise factory. No, this is just a workshop. I remember now. Coming into here, we have the little town I was talking about. This is such a beautiful town. It really is like a small town, a small American town. It's really beautiful. And it's just, it's just really beautiful. I can't say that enough. Now the bank is right there where I believe you can take out loans and stuff. Got a nice little diner right there. Beautiful buildings. This this town is just so well designed. I love it so much. Like you really get the nice small town America feel when you when you drive through here. Bear Roar Park. Can we go in here? No. Well, that sucks. So one last thing, there are drones drones in this game, but it looks like you actually have to buy them in this particular mode. But this is what they look like. And when you actually buy one, you will have an app right here that says activate drone. And that starts up the drone and you uh, get put into the drone view and you can actually fly around the map and check out stuff. If you guys want to see more of that, you guys can check out the live stream I did last night. You guys can skip through it, I don't really care. You guys don't even have to go watch it if you don't want to. But it's there. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Farm Pure Farming 2018. Um, I'm thinking about doing a series on this. I think that'll be a lot of fun. So you guys can look forward to that. And, uh, yeah. And I hope, you all, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. If you all did enjoy, please like, dislike, comment, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If you are already subscribed, click the bell icon so you're notified when I would end a stream. And until next time, I'm doing that game. See you all in the next. I messed that up. And until next time, I'm doing that game. See you on the next video. Bye bye.